Hello everyone! We have been building on this little room in the live streams for a long time and it is really time for me to put some electricity to it. So I'm taking the grey wires and I'm connecting those together. And I'm actually just putting them in here just to make sure I have a good grid grip on them. Pulling off the little um, piece at the end here and I am going to take uh, the wire here it's a black wire we need and I'm going to combine the gray with the black I'm placing a tube of shrink uh, tube over the black wire here just putting it over the wire and remove it down the wire and connect the wires here. I place a piece of paper underneath here because I don't want my mat to be ruined if I drop a tiny bit of, um, I don't even know the word for that one. But I am going to take my Dremel heating gun thingy, this one, and I'm going to fire it up. And I am going to solder the wires together. I just need to get this turned on. There we go. And I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of the soldering thing here and put on to the wires like that. And then I am taking this metal thing that I am going to use for soldering and I'm putting that over the wire and the soldering iron under the wire. This way I am making a heat um, soldering where the wires are heated up and then the soldering thread is just going into the wires instead of all over. And that works pretty good. And that's all there is for soldering these wires together. Then I am taking my shrinking tube and I am just placing that over the soldered part and the two wire parts so that it is totally covered and I'm using my heat gun here to shrink it and then it will form a nice and tight bond around the soldered area and protect it. And I am going to do this with the uh, two white wires and the red wires as well. I'm just not showing that right here but I do it the exact same way. Now let's put in some batteries here in the battery compartments and this one needs two AAA batteries so I'm just placing them in there, the lid on and then let's see if it is working here and now, yay, perfect it is working, I really like this. I have these self-adhesive velcro dots, so I'm just placing two on the um, box here for the batteries, just sticking them on there, and this is the soft ones, and it really don't want to get loose of the paper, but we need it, so here we go. And then I am putting that to the side, and then taking the ones with that are kind of scratchy and I'm placing them upside down so the tape is um, pointing outwards on top of these just like that and then I am sticking it to the wall where I want it and just make sure that it is pushed really nice onto the wall and then the battery is placed. 
This box also came with three acrylic plates for uh, boxing it into a tiny box. And I just need to get this brown paper of the one side and it really is hard to get off. Um, on the other side there is a translucent sheet and I'm just gonna let that stay on there. Uh, but we need this brown here to disappear. And be careful that you don't scratch the surface of the uh, acrylic plate while doing this. I am going to use my tacky glue uh, and glue this on. So I'm just giving the sides here a tap of glue all the way over and all the way up here. And then I am going to take a toothpick and um, smear it out so it has a nice even layer down the lines here. And when I am ready, I am going to take this acrylic sheet and I'm placing that on top of the glue with the side that we just pulled the brown paper off. Let that be downwards. Then you have the uh, translucent sheet of protection on the outside of the glass. This way I can use a few pieces of small, uh, this is actually electrical tape that I'm just placing here to keep it in the glue while drying. I peeled off the brown paper on the next piece of uh, acrylic plate and I placed some glue around the edge of the end here of the house and I'm just carefully placing a tiny blob of glue here on the side of this acrylic sheet. Luckily the uh, glue here is uh, going translucent when it's all dry. Then I'm just carefully placing this uh, acrylic sheet and again I am going to use the uh, electrical tape to keep it in place while drying. Before I glue the top on, I am going to remove the front sheets on these two pieces of plexiglass. So I'm just first of all lifting up the electrical tape so I can get rid of that. And this one is really good stuck on there. Um, yeah, let's get rid of all these pieces of electrical tape here. And this one as well. There we go. And then I can peel off these pieces because I can use those for the top of the box as well. This corner up here, I'm sorry you can't see that, but that took the film with. So that was really, really easy to just rip that off and get rid of it. And now I'm just doing the same thing on the other side here so that I can get rid of the film here and there we got all my hair in the picture sorry about that
and I'm loosening the protecting piece here in the corner and then I can just kind of rip it off like this and then it's all nice and clear really looks good here uh, this corner need a little more glue now for the brown paper on the last piece I need to get rid of this piece as well and now I have done that a few times I know it's easier if I can take it all off in one time just kind of roll it off here like that place it so I know which sides go down and I am going to spread my glue here on the two sides of the little house and with my toothpick I am uh, spreading it out and then using some of the extra glue to put on the um, acrylic sheets here on the top so that it's all glued together And then I am going to take my acrylic plate with the side where we removed the paper from going down and place it so it's lying perfect on top and then I'm just taping it down so that I'm sure that it will stick into the glue. Leave this to dry for at least a few hours before you take off the um, electrical tape here that I'm using. After a couple of hours I am removing the tape and this uh, top foil that there is on the um, acrylic sheet. And then this little house is all done. Subscribe, like and ring the bell button. So that was it. I will leave a link in the info box for the playlist for this little room box so you can find it. And actually I think this one turned out so cute. So let's turn off the light so I can turn on the light in the little room. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. And there it is. I had a lot of fun making this one together with you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to be back with some lives soon again, um, but I have a few things here over the summer, so we will see. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.